sometimes our frustration and our unhappiness comes because we have not taken the time to follow the money. You are frustrated and unhappy. You're not pleased with your savings at all. You're not pleased with your life, your financial life. And then it's affecting you emotionally. It's affecting you mentally. You're just messed up in your head, you're saying. And I get it. I know sometimes when we don't see what we're doing and all we're working for is to pay the bills and meet the commitments we made. I can help you sort things out a bit. My name is Tessa Marie and welcome to my YouTube channel where you will find the answers to life's true happiness and success. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when a video of this nature is released. I get it. You've been working very hard and you keep saying that. I'm always working, I'm pushing myself, I'm doing my best, but I seem to be going backwards. One step forward, 10 steps backwards, I got it. So let us see what it is you can do to improve yourself, to get yourself where you are. Have you looked at where you are in your life financially? Where are you? That's what you're saying. You're making just enough money to pay the bills. But do you know how much money that you spend? Do you, what it is you're doing with your money? And that is really bothering you because you're saying, I am not getting anywhere. I see my friends going. The most important thing you can do when you feel that way is this. Spend some time and look at your finances. Take them apart. Know exactly what goes into your bank account to the penny. I know a penny is not much, but a hundred of them makes a dollar and a dollar, another nine and you've got 10. And another 90 and you've got a hundred but it all started with that single dollar so know where it is know where that money goes you have bills and expenses that you're paying and you're not being able to save you haven't been on the trip or going on vacation for three years and it's because you do not have the money to pay for it before or even when you come home you have no way of paying it back the thing is you have to know where your money is going Sometimes our frustration and our unhappiness comes because we have not taken the time to follow the money. Follow your money. And the only way to follow your money, that is what I'm going to ask you to do, is to write down every time you spend money. Write it down. Look at how much you pay for bank charges, how much you pay for subscriptions that maybe you don't use. You have to look at your money in such a way that you know where your money is going because it's only by looking at it, knowing where it's going, that you will find out where the holes are that you can plug. Because money is sipping away from you. So you have to follow the money. If you're looking for someone to be a speaker at any of your events that you're planning, get in touch with me. My email address is right here and you can contact me and I would love to give you more about making life choices to you or any of the topic on living a fulfilled life. Have a great day. How much did you spend at the dollar store? Because you said it's a dollar. Did you leave there $80 less? And did you really need those things? Did you shop and are you paying your bills late and getting charges? Did you really have to? You need to follow the money. And when you find the leak, you have to plug the hole. You have to make sure you take care of that. If you know where you're spending too much, then you can fix it. Remember, we had three years of point and click. The whole world was in COVID. Are you still pointing and clicking? Did you get addicted to shopping online? Did you get addicted to buying your foods prepared, having your food come in? Or can you go back to maybe preparing a meal for yourself from scratch and make it adventurous? If you do, think of it. You can invite a friend over, share a bottle of wine over something you cook together. You see, when you're feeling that your money is not staying with you, follow the money. Make sure you know where your money is going. Money, if not harness, has a habit of going wild. Yes, money will take off if you do not give it a name and place it in a spot where you want it to grow. Remember that dollar a day, $10 a week? You can still do it. The choice is to keep doing it. 
And that is what is important. Know where your money goes. And the only way you're going to know where your money is going is to follow the money. Look at where the spendings are. Change some spending to some saving. Build a saving a bit at a time, constantly over time. Yes, build your money by saving a bit. Know where it is. Money needs a reason, a purpose to stay with you. Build a vacation account and save money in there regularly. You see, your money has to have a name. And to know what's going on with your money is to follow your money. This is an amazing tip for those of you who are saying you are challenged with saving money. Try that. You'll be amazed at how successful you can be. If you have, if you love videos of this, more videos of this time, just click over here. You'll get a couple more. Have a great day.